fail. Man, I suck at this thing. Fail again. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys all enjoyed me trying to make this nutritious and delicious uh, protein shake. Yeah, it's good. Today's video, we're doing something cool. We're going to head over to Red Wing Shoe Store, and my buddy Joe over there is going to tell us about boots and the type of boots that I've been wearing. And we're going to show the store and all that other cool stuff. But I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you what I've been wearing the last couple of years. And I'm going to show you all the damage that has been done to these boots. <laughs> so, right here was my very first pair of Vass boots I ever bought, and it was two years ago. And I actually love these boots. Uh, they're very comfortable. And I've only had hot spots and problems with them within my first like four hikes. But after that, they are actually pretty dang comfortable. Uh, this one wasn't the most uh, waterproof boot. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of ventilation in there and spots for water to get in. And obviously that hole doesn't help. But these boots probably... I want to say close to 1,200 miles on them before I uh, kind of let them go. You can see the laces actually, the laces were not very good. The laces that they came with uh, maybe lasted five or six hikes. And then I went in and got some better ones and some stronger ones. These actually are the second pair of laces I went through in these boots. For some reason, I don't know what it was, laces just went fast in these boots. But other than that, I actually did enjoy these boots a lot. <laughs> Uh, they were very comfortable. I blew out the sides right here. Yeah, they took some damage and abuse, but I love them. And then the second pair of boots I bought from Vask or from Red Wing Shoe Store that were Vask were these bad boys. <laughs> these things have like 2,000 miles on them. Look at that, guys. I literally wore a hole right where my toe is. Right there. <laughs> you can see where I've been stepping down. Look how gnarly these things are. Oh, I love it though. This is by far the most comfortable boot I've worn. That's why I didn't want to give them up. Because they actually were that comfortable. And here's, here's the other boot. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That carnage on that boot. And I didn't take care of the leather. I... Uh, you know, when you're out hiking for days at a time and your boot gets wet and dries and, you know, overnight it can even just play a role on the leather, in my experience anyway. And look at that. Oh my goodness. These things were bad to the bone. I love these. I actually bought another pair. Uh, you you guys will see in other videos uh, when I'm out hiking. I did a couple other videos uh, just showing them off. And I got a tough toe put on and stuff. And... Look at that. There's like no tread left. But anywho, <laughs> I'm going to head over to Red Wing Shoe Store and we're going to go talk to Joe and he's going to fill you in on some more info. Alrighty guys, we have made it right there, Red Wing Shoe Store. This location is off 5474 West Daybreak Parkway. And fun fact, the apartments that you can see right back there. I used to live there. Yeah, when the wife and I first got married. A little fun fact, but we're gonna head in, talk to Joe, and he's gonna shed some light on some of the products that they have in here. All right, guys, this is as you very first walk in the door. You can see all their awesome products right here, all the cool shoes. And then over here, they got on the TV screen, the shoe thing. I'll have Joe go more over that when he gets out here. He's a little busy right now, slaving away on some shoes. But yeah, they have socks, different types of socks. They have cotton socks, a whole bunch of different types of boots going on. You get glasses, you got your dress wear right here, like your more casual everyday stuff. Even for the ladies, if the ladies are looking for some as well. You got some other awesome boots, got some slippers, and then actually what I came in for are these guys right here, the merino wool socks. Uh, they actually helped out <laughs> quite a bit on this last hike. Um, I didn't get the blisters like I did on the last, uh, the hike previous uh, before that, but yeah, I need to get some more of those. And then when he also gets out here, we'll talk about these two boots right here. We have the Vasque uh, Saga 
GTX and the St. Elias. And those are my preferred boots, but yeah, if you guys come on in here, we'll get Joe out here. I'll introduce him and you guys can talk to that man about any questions you guys have about the store or any of the products. We'll go from there. How's it going? All right, guys, we have Joe here and he works here inside the store and this is the gentleman that will take care of you if you come in and i'm just gonna have him talk about this boot that i just purchased and yeah this tell is, him <laughs> uh, the saint elias west's most recent boot well he tore through a pair um, they had last year but it's got the vibram sole vibram rubbers we rated best in all categories slip oil chemical abrasion heat and that's like a in these. tire, like your car tire, yeah, correct? Yeah, the same rubber as your car tires in general. And then Gore-Tex membrane, no breathable, um, but also waterproof, all leather uppers, you know, tend to last longer in general. But yeah, St. Elias, it's a good boot. They're doing a uh, new model this year coming out. That's the, you know, the version that's been out for the last couple of years, but you know, popular. Heck yeah, I actually like that boot a lot. And then... Uh, do you guys obviously have a lot of different oh, yeah. pairs of boots going on? Toe boots. Um, there's the Irish Setters, which is mainly their hunting line. They also have safety toe work boots. And then Vasque is obviously the outdoor hiking recreational brand. And then also Heritage, which is more of the lifestyle, uh, you know, dress and you know, all the time boots. So. Very cool. And I actually came in here to get more of these guys <laughs> this actually worked out very well uh like i told you the very first hike in those new boots got a blister on the back of my hill i wore these guys and i actually didn't get a blister so thank you <laughs> yeah manual, moisture wicking and antimicrobial um, hypoallergenic so even people with wool allergies can actually wear merino wool oh really so it's a special breed of sheep with much finer fiber Moisture-wicking properties, they're good socks. That's I didn't what I wear know that. year round. Yeah. And nice. they're a lifetime warranty, so. Yeah, you guys hear that? Them, we'll replace them for free. Nice, and then you guys have a warranty on the boots as well, right? Yeah, exactly. For the entire life of any boot in here, I'm just kind of outlined it, but this... free laces, eyelets, hooks, cleaning, oiling, um, stitching if it comes undone, some gluing. The only thing you'd ever have to pay for is a resole, um, which, you know, if you take care of all the other maintenance, bring them into me. Um, Resole's a hundred bucks, and usually the sole, well, the upper will outlast the sole by, you know, two or three times on average. Cool. Well, thank you, sir, very much. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a couple of the, these socks, and you guys need to get down here to Red Wing Shoe Store, right off 5474 West uh, Daybreak Parkway. Yep, just west of Mountain View Corridor. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Joe. I just brought the boots in just to show them uh, what was happening. So right here was lifting up off the tough toe and I just want to show him after two hikes what was happening and then he just goes ahead and makes it all pretty and then he cleaned them up, put on the natural, uh, what was that? Natural? Nature seal. Oh yeah, nature seal, <laughs> not natural. Stuff you want to use for anything with a waterproof liner um, so it won't clog up the pores in the membrane that allow the moisture to breathe out away from your feet. Very nice. So, dude, thank you very much. I'm excited to put those to work in the next four days. We'll get after it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Halfway done. <laughs>
and let's go find some shit. Grow up big. <laughs> Look at this guy. Dude, he's cool. Look at this freak. That's his first brand oh, new shit, dude. Really? Ever? Yeah. And it's no a, way! It's so standard, dude. Look at that. How do you get the stand? Oh yeah, yeah, let's put it up. Yeah, like that, I can tell already. <laughs> uh, that, dude. that is awesome. Look he's at the front. Be, he's gonna be a freak. Yeah, dude. dude. Oh my what goodness. What did he find, Arrow? Yeah, that he is so shit. cool. Yeah, dude, that that's is a so cool. First cool. Shed, man. For first brown elk shed, that is so awesome. Yeah, no, man. thank you. We're just barely getting started. Rising shed, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's awesome. I got my vans on, but they look like sneakers. What are those? That's my $40 Ross specials, bro. <laughs> look how pretty this river is down here. Still creek. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But. We're heading up into the bone zone still. And, uh, hopefully we can find some elk shots. Keep on going. Well guys, lucked on the first shed of the day for myself. Jordan went right, I went left. <laughs> there it is, he's kinda cool. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He's just white. a little baby. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a hard white. Well, we'll take that. Very yeah, nice. He's cool. Yeah, he dropped fronts in this area, huh? That one other bull had to drop front too, but that guy didn't. Yeah. Mine just regular. <laughs> so, Jordan was right in front of me. And uh, he was like, something got murdered in here. And I looked up in front of him. <laughs> I was all deadhead. And I stepped on it and missed it. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Actually, cool a pretty spike. big spike. It's cool looking, huh? Yeah, he's a big spike. Last year? Looks like last year just got a ton of water on it, huh? Maybe it two, could maybe be two, two years. years. Maybe two, yeah. He's long. Wow. That's a long spike. Yeah. Look at that. So long. Look at my foot. <coughs> Here, will you feel me picking it up yeah, and then we'll sure. just put it back down? Yep. Look at that thing. Yeah, he's cool, dude. He's wild. Two bash back. Should be finding more, huh? Dropping down in some elevation. I think we're just up a little too high. We'll leave that guy there. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah.